Drew, you killed this shit. Boys back in the building. Throw it's not recording. Up. Yes, it is. No, <laughs> it's not. Get your ass minding other people's business again. <laughs> Look at your ass minding other people's business again. <laughs> hey, we start that, Mikey. Look at, no, no, no. We got to keep it. We got to keep it. We definitely keep it. This there we go. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it this way. Black male is strong. Look at this. Keep it this way. other people's business again. <laughs> the the name, man, he's like, I got better at this shit. You didn't even know that shit hit record again. Hey man, listen. <laughs> tap. This is in the fourth quarter of the wrestling. I'm gonna let Wild Card Mar take over from here. Go ahead, brother. Hey man, you know what it is. Four quarter boys in the middle, throw them foes up, throw them cards down. We appreciate y'all for tuning in to the wrestling podcast made from wrestling fans for wrestling fans, and you know what it is. We ready to bring you. Banger after banger after banger. Shout out to the man Seamus. Got my boys with me. How we feeling, Jay? Will, what's good with you, man? Good, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good, Mar. Yeah. Hey, you didn't hear that record button? Yeah, man. You, you this guy over here. Anyway, good to see you, man. I know you on one because you you out of fourth place, so you feeling real greasy right now. That's <laughs> good. Quavo, Quavo, what's that do with you, man? It was, it was, hey, yo, hold on, wait, yeet, 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 no yeet, <laughs> with them no yeet, yeah. What's good? We we'll get you? them shades. Now we have to get them shades. <laughs> no. Wshop.com, please give us a promo code. We ain't rich yet. Hey, cook doing? us up. We need a discount. It ain't happening, King Man. What's happening with you? And not just free shipping, damn it. What's happening? I'm here in the building. I got something special tonight. Don't okay. Worry. Okay. We're well, robbing in the building. Real y'all. quick, I had to get this joke off. It was in my head. You know how Jose and Jay will be going at it, and they like yeet, no yeet for real. Yeah. In two K twenty three, I made them a tag team. <laughs> <laughs> yeet. <laughs> no yeet. <laughs> Hey man, just in case y'all y'all ain't noticed, man, Forcey boys, we we on one today, but we gonna give y'all a good dope show because we gotta talk that good old wrestling. And I'm about to start the show off this week, this in this form. We gonna start off with match of the week. I got a couple in my my head, but I I gotta pick y'all brains to see what's what y'all feeling, what y'all saw this past week in wrestling. That kind of you know, we'll talk other things, of course. We'll we'll get you prepared for NXT Battleground that's taking off. This Sunday, so y'all see us on Saturday. The next day, you're gonna tune in, watch WWE Battleground. But match of the week, King Mel, I'll let the peoples. What's up with you? Osprey versus Kyle O'Reilly. Mm. Or I'm going with Andrade versus Apollo Cruz. Oh, we did see it on Apollo side. I, I was shocked. <laughs> I was like, been a minute since we've seen Apollo, but hey, Apollo. Been a minute. <laughs> I was like, but that was a good match. That was a good match. I ain't even gonna cap. Hey, good choices. Good choices. I liked it. I like that. Jay Will, how at us, man. Match of the week. What um, kind of- um, my match of the week would definitely be Mercedes Monet versus Sky Blue. Hmm. I was looking forward to Mercedes Monet putting that title up on the line on TV. That's not pay per view. Good to see that match. Definitely yeah. good to see that match. I don't know if I'm more shocked that you picked that or you actually watched Dynamite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No matter what popular belief is, <laughs> I watch Rampage. <laughs> and occasionally I watch Dynamite. So I like that match. I really like that match. People, people who've been following for a long time, y'all know I started off. I was put in a position to watch, what was it, Dark in Dark Elevation. I'm just saying, that's where I started with Sky Blue, and I've seen her progression over time, and I really like that match. I in, truly enjoyed it. And the results of the lie detectors say, <laughs> I think this, this man, Captain, <laughs> hey, man. He 
anyway, Quavo, man, give us a match of the week, man. <laughs> Bruh, oh my gosh, I, that that is definitely not believable. Uh, <laughs> not believable, as the guy that used to be on this you know show used to say. But uh, match of the week is definitely for me. For me, uh, Braun versus Ricochet. Okay. That boy Braun got the dog in him, bro. Just ripped him up, y'all. It was just it, and Samantha's look. Yeah, they sell it all, bro. They sell it all. It was it was a beautiful match to watch. I enjoyed it. I like that. I like that. Okay, okay. Uh, just some of the matches that kind of popped off to me. Obviously, you know, I did a shout out to Sheamus earlier the show. Banger after banger after banger. I enjoyed him and Kaiser Rose. You know they 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 put on a, a they put on a dope match. Hey hey, can I can can we holler at the peoples? I swear WWE is secretly watching us. I swear a few months back we called Kaiser going on his solo run, and he's actually he's actually doing his thing as a solo solo artist. You know, I mean, let's talk about that real quick. Go ahead, Quavo. Uh, I'm not a fan. Oh my god, wow. You're starting to hate already? I'm not gonna no, but not in a bad way, guys. I'm not a fan only because I'm not fully invested in, in this guy, you know, mostly because he got weird looking head and some weird eyebrows to me that just it just I don't know what character of recess he is, but I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out which one he was. But nonetheless, uh I think I also don't like him because of this Kaiser Roll challenge y'all keep asking me to do. I don't get it. I, I mean, I, I still don't get it. But look, congratulations to this guy. I Mel, I think, was the one who called it, called him having that run, and you know, maybe taking the belt off of Gunther. He was wrong about that, but he, he, he it, you know, we, we, we might see it. We might. I don't know. Maybe he get the belt back, and then then Gunther gives him the belt. I don't know. Who cares? I don't know. Okay. Not, not me. You know. But congrats to the guy. You know. Yeah. I, I mean, but you do always that Kaiser Row, even though you said you was gonna do it. Like most, he ain't win really. Y'all, y'all, y'all saw that the, the the ref might have given the win, but his shoulders were not down. Damn it! Hey man, I, I, I I'm 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 at to ask producer to pull that tape out when it said that you said you was gonna do it when Gunther win King of the Ring, and we ain't seen nothing yet. So he's not my king. Okay, he's not my hey. general king. Okay? Hey, wild card, can you do me a favor? What's that? What's happening, Wally? Can you pull up the book again? And a lot of he resents. Results. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, he capping too. Oh, yeah, so about the cap. Kaiser Road Challenge. We've been waiting for almost a year. Man, oof, oof. Man. But go ahead, man. Speak on, uh, 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 you know, Kaiser Road and, and, and our man, uh, Seamus. Yeah. Um. Just to let y'all know, so... I was at SmackDown on the 31st. Nice. And I got to see this match twice. I got to see a SmackDown as a dark match where Sheamus won. And then now in Raw, Kaiser won. So I, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. And the match was damn good, too. They they beating the hell out of each other. Oh, yeah. I know my boy Kaiser. I, I tried to tell y'all, man. <laughs> If he's your boy so much, why you ain't pick him in my GM? Right. Okay. Right. Damn. Damn. That's cold blooded. Anyway, Jay, we'll get in here and try to make some sense of this situation right here, man. The only thing I gotta say is Jose owes us that Kaiser Royal Challenge. We've been waiting on this for a while. We've been waiting on this longer than Kaiser getting his run as a singles person. We're not. We're not that. We need that. Jose, you owe up. Stop playing with us. Pay what you owe. <laughs> oh, he hit you with the hand clap. The game ain't changed. Pay what you owe me. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Hey, ooh. Hey, hey, did you hear uh, uh, Seamus called him uh, the glorified coat rack? I, I I heard that line, and I died. I, the first thing I went to was that Kaiser row. I was waiting. I was, hey. I was like, Chris Quavo. <laughs> glorified ain't. Hey, hey, man, man, man. Woo, woo, woo. Them, hey, let's hey, come on now, quit playing with that boy. Hey. But he he put it on a good match, that night. yeah. Now nah, they did, they good. did. Jose, put that finger down. Go ahead, put that finger down. Go ahead. All right, now jump back in here, Quavo. What's up, man? <laughs> no, I was just I was doing what you know Kaiser does, but y'all ain't get it because y'all don't fuck with Kaiser. It's okay. 
It's all right. Y'all show your true colors. It's all, all right. good. Now, that was a dope match. Another dope match that I thought uh, uh, hopefully everybody paid attention to. Uh, that gauntlet match to to get your number one contender for Swerve for Forbidden Door. That that was a dope match. They had some they had some uh, some dope names in there, and and they had some uh, some moments in that match. Where I was like, oh, this this is getting spicy. Well, I kind of like it. And of course, Will Ospreay is your new number one contender. But he just I'm just saying, he just won a belt, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I'm just saying, man. So, so you okay with this, man? Yeah, I'm okay with it. He literally just won a match to face work. But I'm saying he just won a belt. Okay, and you act like people can't win multiple belts at one time, have multiple champions, or have another title opportunity. Man, I, I mean, I'm, fine. I'm perfectly fine with that. Osprey, go ahead and get kicked to the face by Swerve, just like Christian did. I'm fine with that. All right. I'm going to just say, when I'm at Forbidden Door, I may have to cut my Swerve shirt and my Osprey shirt in the middle and just hold the two sides together because I don't know who I'm going to be rooting for. Oh, so you you a little conflicted on that match, huh? Oh, yeah. And the best thing is I get to see it live, main event. I don't know, bro. I, I, I might be a little, little irritated if they take the belt off a of swerve. Hey, did you see the new goals he got? Mm-hmm. He got the AEW. AEW yeah, he got the AEW championship goals. When he put his teeth together, it's the AEW champ. <laughs> I mean, some people think it looks stupid, but I thought it was kind of fresh. It's different, man. You know, he swerving when he drive and he got the championship on his grill, man. I, I thought it was kind of different. But you know, oh man, stop. <laughs> Quavo, man, jump in here, man. You okay with well, Will we'll Ospreay going ahead and getting this, this title shot already? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Hell no. To the no. 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 Too soon, man. It's too soon, man. I'm, I, and this is, I, it feels, and it's weird. It's like how Logan went up against Cody. It was too soon. But y'all ain't got nothing to go with boring roads anyway, so might as well put Logan against him. So now you it's like the same thing right now. You just came off some good momentum, and what's Tony going to do? Oh, yeah, let me go ahead and put Osprey against him because, you know, he'd be trying to make these matches. He'd be trying to make these matches that are, you know, dream matches, but it's like, bro, let him cook. Let him build up to that. Mm. You know, they just can't, he just came off a, a really good match, a great pay-per-view. Both of them did some great freaking work. But, you know, b- build them up into a rivalry and, and, and make it look good. Make it look good, you know? These are two star players. You just go put them in, in the match, and then what's going to happen? You're going to pull the same thing that WWE is pulling right now is you're going to give us a repeat of it in, like, two, three months. And I'm not, I'm not fitting to watch that then. So it's like, all right, well, let's go ahead and feed, feed them to the champion. And then we're going to have to see him again. But at that point, he's got to be a more vicious offspring to take the belt off him or us to believe he's going to take the belt off of him. So it's just, I don't know. I, I just, I don't think it makes sense. Not just this question. Just... So I can't have my hottest wrestler going against the world champion. Look, you got Roderick Strong going up against your champion. Okay. okay. That? You got Roderick Strong going up against your champion and now you're putting him up against Offspray. It's just like, bro, you, you don't know what, you don't know who to put up against Swerve. That's not me. That's you, Tony. You don't want booking this shit for Dynamite. <laughs> so don't be mad at me. I have a question. Uh, um, Mel, you're you you you're the almanac of this show in wrestling. So, like, what was Jose's opinion when Logan Paul went up against Roman Reigns? He loved it. He loved it. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right, cool. Cool. Just cool. making sure I understand what's happening here. See this collusion? See this collusion? They always do this. This is the same collusion I see every hey, Monday you know on what? my GM. You know they're what? trying to take me off of the hey, number one spot. It's not going to work. You know it's not going to work. Third hey, place. Hey, Quavo, you believe should, what you want to believe, should Jose. I, should I get the line to take the results for Mario again? You should, because I don't love anything Logan related. Oh yeah, he ain't capping about that. Oh man, y'all two trying to collude on the same guy that was ready to call him rookie of the year. 
but okay. He he oh, was. That was wow. definitely you know damn right I picked Bad Bunny. You know, damn right I picked Bad Bunny. <laughs> you only pick Bad Bunny because okay. you speak Spanish. <laughs> yeah. No man. Hey, I, I'm just look. We're all going to have our, our different opinions. All I'm, I, I'm, even though I'm leaning towards with Cravo, that I'm like, damn, like, first of all, you've been here maybe four, four months. You didn't already got a championship a week ago, two weeks ago. Now you about to be going up against a champion. Why you got no belt right now? I'm just like, yo. He, he, Okada would have been more believable. No. Like, Okada been here a while. Yeah. You know? Do y'all not see the story that's happening? We'll, we'll help us out. So the story right now is the Don Collins, Collin, whatever, however you pronounce Don it. Don Collins. Collins, yeah. yeah. Collins family, huh? Yeah. So the story is, basically, if Willow Spray loses this swerve at Forbidden Door, Don Collins is most likely going to drop him out the family because he's not using a Tiger Driver 97. He keeps stopping not using that. So that's what they're using right now as a story. But has he been threatened? Yes, he's been threatened. How many matches? He almost lost the match to Roderick, Roderick Strong for not using that move. Mm. Don Cal has been going mm. in on him for not using that move. AEW logic always is hard for me to follow anyways, but it's like try to read Braille, but that's also Arabic. It's like, uh, it's, just a little, it's a little tricky. Well, I'll figure it out, though. When, when, okay, so I... I don't know if that clarifies that, like, helps it for me, Mel, because it's like it's still weird. Because Osprey is is kind of uh, looking like a good guy, and everybody else in the Callis family is looking like bad guys. So I'm still kind of off kilted about that story anyway, or how that stuff even fits anyway. So I'm just like, I don't know, man. It, it, I I think they I think they left the pot roast in a little bit too long in the oven, and it's starting to burn, man. It ain't me even braising no more. So I don't know what's going on with this whole. It, it's not making sense to me. That's all I'm saying. But one thing that is making sense in the world of wrestling is whether it's AEW, WWE, or any other promotion, you know who's cooking? The ladies is cooking. The ladies is cooking. They are cooking. It don't matter what promotion it is. The ladies are cooking. And one of the matches that I thought should have probably been a match of the week. What is going on? Akuna Matata. <laughs> it's a wonderful phrase means no worries anyway hey man nah Mel you, you got a good point man the lady's been cooking like a mug man but Jay Will man talk to us man <laughs> so as far as the women is concerned I already talked about how I felt about Mercedes Monet versus Sky Blue but then right after we had that match we got Stephanie Marco versus Monet. And we're projecting that to happen at Forbidden Door. Who the hell is Stephanie Marco? Yeah. I have no clue. I <laughs> just right, want to watch that match. <laughs> so just let no y'all know, know. I want to watch Marco that match. Is a CML wrestler who is right now the New Japan Women's Strong Women's Japan Women's Strong Champion. You had your turn, Jay Will. <laughs> hey, 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 whoa, no, it's still my turn. You, nah, you didn't know cool. who she was. It's Let me cool. I it. knew that already. <laughs> Let me explain this. Get it off the table. <laughs> it, it's fine. I, I, I have honestly, truly been a fan of Mercedes Monet for a while now, and I want to watch her matches. I'm going to watch her matches. That's you can fans, please. Understand that I want to watch her matches and see how she does. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. My boy Jay will be in the crib doing the machine. Uh, He'd be practicing. <laughs> We're not letting anybody lie on this show. So I had to mute him. We're not letting nobody lie on this show no more. <laughs> Man said he's a Mercedes Monet. She done had five matches. <laughs> no, she's had one. No, she's had two since she's been in there. She's had two <laughs> matches in <laughs> AEW. So she's been back in. No one told you to speak. <laughs> well, come on, go to the next person, please. <laughs> hey, King Mel, do it again, cuz. <laughs> I know. Hey. That's how she be every time. Hey, fail. Every time she come to the ring. Hey, fail. <laughs> Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. <laughs>
Hey fam. <laughs> hey fam. I don't know which what I hate most. Oh, I, hate, I don't know if I hate the the Monet chicken noodle soup dance or the or the or the or the, or the, or the Moxby swivel. I don't know which one I hate worse, man. Oh damn. Anyway, Quavo, jump in here, man, about the women of wrestling. Women of wrestling doing their thing, man. Talk to us. Man. Yo, these these ladies are definitely cooking. I think we've gotten a lot of great matches this week. And I think that's really cool that we've gotten to see uh, a good amount of content from both promotions. Um, you know, I know that TNA somewhere is out there probably putting on some good stuff, too. And Jordan Grace is in there bodying somebody. Um, I haven't seen it yet, but. I'll try to find it. It's rough. But either way, all these other matches that we've gotten throughout the week, pretty dope. You know, um, Bianca with Bailey. You have Bianca with Jade. Um, all these other tag teams in Raw showing up and putting on some, you know, some good work and, you know, building up the hype. And let them know that their team division, that, you know, they're out here. And uh, respect to them, too, because, you know, it's not just women's tag team on SmackDown, but we've seen it on Raw. So I think having both brands show that is pretty dope. I know for you guys, it's hard to understand what tag teams are because you don't really book too many of them on my GM. But um, the women's tag team division, solid. Love it, bro. Hey, I, I like it's how funny. you snuck that in there, bro. You snuck it in there just like how WWE snuck in uh, uh, Isla Dawn and, and uh, uh, Alba Fire right before it clashed with the castle, just, mm-hmm. like, just like they did. I like, I like mm-hmm. had them, had them in, in the regulars, you know, the casuals, you know, like they had just left the club. They, they were like, oh, wait, we're not in catering this week? Oh, okay. Hey, yeah. I bet. <laughs> what are we doing? Wait, what? Hey yo, yeah, we're just gonna mess up a we good still match. Exist? <laughs> okay, all right. I can't, I can't wait. One up. quick question, Ma. Go ahead, dog. Hey, J. Will, did me and Yum have the best two minutes of SmackDown ever? <laughs> no, sir. We are not doing that today. No, sir. But it was fantastic, though. Shout out, shout out, man. That's why you my dog. <laughs> That's why you my dog. Well, we gonna keep it moving because uh, you ain't about to get that man in trouble like that, dog. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> don't answer that, Jay Wolf. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. It's a trap. It's a trap. I I know a trap when I see one. That's it. All right, don't do it. Don't do it. But let's keep this show moving, man, because there's a lot of stuff to go around. Hey, man, I think one of the storylines that's that's heating up is getting real entertaining. You got. Uh, Alpha Academy on one side, and then you got Sami Zayn on one side. Hey, it's getting spicy. It's getting spicy. Let's talk about it. Go ahead, King Mel. First off, let's talk about how my guy went from black hair back to blonde. Let's talk about my boy Tazawa. Mm hmm. Oh, Tazawa, that's just <laughs> nasty. <laughs> My man went back, and then we see Chad Gable have Maxine Dupree read off them cue cards. That had me on the floor crying for him to still come out there. And I see apparently he got mind control over Otis. (laughs) He got mind control over Otis. Otis be doing his whole thing, but when Chad get out there, he be quiet. (laughs) And he gonna do what he said. So, it, I mean, it's entertaining. Sammy out there running his mouth like he never used to be down with the bloodline. Talking about Oopsie. But it's all right. Sammy's going to get Don't worry. Once them perks kick in, <laughs> we know who's going to be the champion. Yo, I can't, bro. <laughs> see? See? <laughs> see? You're going to get it, too. Everybody getting it today. <laughs> I, I can't. I ain't never wrap this head, baby. <laughs> I can't. Oh man, hey Quavo, man, help us out, man. This show's wild today, bro. Um, I lost track of where we were because of you know the the antics, but yeah, I mean, Alpha Academy is always a great thing to watch. You know, I I will say this. I also like our truth little segment. Honorable mention, truth you you a champ. Uh, but I, I like this story and how it's developed so far. Otis really is 
he's a star wherever you put him, bro. Wherever you put him, even you know, even if you have him doing these things that you just like, bro. When is he gonna pop? Y'all still are like engaged and seeing what was about to happen, and he's still giving us the same odors he's given us for the past three weeks, and yet we still are hoping. One of these days, he's going to boot the crap out of Ch- 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 Chad Gable. Just one big old boot, you know. Uh, and I think that'll happen sooner than later. But until then, he's going to give the work to Sammy because Sammy's still trying. Sammy's still trying. Um, and I feel like Sammy, it, it feels like you're trying too hard, Sammy. Like, I think you need to let Chad mess it up on his own. You know, let let it all implode on itself. Because at the end of the day, the Alpha Academy is going to end up having Otis as the face. And I can't wait for that. That's going to be great. Ooh, you calling that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. okay. Okay, okay. Jay, we'll jump in here, man. You got Alpha Academy story. Sammy Zayn tied in today. How you liking it, bro? So what my problem with Jose, what Jose just said was Sammy Zayn is doing too much. He was doing the same exact thing with the bloodline. Anybody who knows anime, nerd culture, Naruto culture, he is talk no jutsu his way through to turn people against one another. He's trying to talk Otis out of working with Chad. And, and it's fine. He's repeating the same trend that he's done before. It's cool. I give it. But Y'all got to understand that my, like, Otis is building up. I feel like my problem is he's taking too long with this. He should have knocked Chad out by now. I wanted him to. That meant, you hear that? ASMR, that punch. <laughs> knock him out. Let's just end this thing with him and the start the feud. Just go ahead. Chad and Otis, let's go ahead and make it happen. I'm tired of waiting. Let's get to the point. Well, you're getting a little impatient over there, man. I hey. am. I'm getting impatient with it. I'm ready. Hey, you, you saw how it's going down. You will get your turn. It'll be a clash of the castle. I think that's when the payoff is going to happen. You just got to let it. Just like how you like to say, you got to let it cook, baby. Got to let it cook. Let it cook. Come on, man. If anybody know about cooking is me and you, yeah, why you rushing it? Let it braise, baby. Don't this ain't no saute. Let it braise, baby. Come on. Come on. I I feel you though. But you this is something that I think the payoff is gonna be really dope at Class of the Castle. When when it's something on the line, when it when the IC title is on the line, that's when it's gonna matter. So um, but you know, that's a dope story that's that's going on, of course. Then you got a, a you know, a bloodline kind of situation going on. You got AJ Styles and and the rivalry with Cody. Uh, should I, I don't I don't think I should bring Cody up. I don't I, I know Quay why I need you to bring Cody up. Okay, let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it, dog. Let's talk about it. um yeah, I want to save my point, but okay. I would love Quavo to go first. Okay, before Quavo goes, I did love how AJ uh, pulled the old Mark Henry fake retirement move. I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was so fly, bro. That was dope. Come on, Quavo. Let's go. Mark Henry did it better. <laughs> um, that's all I got to say. Uh, and I'm going to yield all my extra time and even the PTO extra time that I had to Bell on this one. Cause it's, oh, no problem. The same booking for me. Nope. <laughs> Go ahead, Mel, bro. All right, man. All I got to say is I do need all the time in the world for this part. Thank you. Thank you, Quavo. I appreciate you. Because I was there at SmackDown the 31st. You know, I had a little talk to Cody Rhodes. And when I talked to Cody Rhodes, he he went and gave me something. Hold on. They cried I- together, guys. <laughs> Wait. You... you... <laughs> They hey, cried together. They took matching uh, crybaby faces together. Hey, hey, he he kept the tissue too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he kept the tissue too. It was like, hey, yo, I would say this for my so, guy. My when guy. I see Cody Rhodes, he hit me with the, 
Claim See, you ain't even doing it right. You were supposed to come from from underneath the camera. Right. Just <laughs> <laughs> okay. He told me there was some guy named Quavo. F him and F his story. F the fact that he got married. <laughs> F the fact that he keep trying to diss him and ripped up his shirt. Man. He said he don't care. You spent sixty dollars for that shirt. Thank you for the free money. Yeah, he, he said he got his merch check already. <laughs> he said thank you for the gas money for this bus. Hey yo, appreciate chill. you, Quavo. <laughs> no, nah, that that gas money for that bus, that little sixty dollars got it up the hill, bro. They that what that was it. <laughs> hey, but Quavo, I bet I bet uh, Cody would have came to the wedding if you asked. He's not invited. Sorry, he's not invited. He's not invited. Even with an open bar, you're not invited, Cody. And he said just for that, Fuck he never story. wants to shake the Spanish and now people hands. Hey, bro, y'all got to chill, bro. He said, that, he said when he go to Clash of the Castle and he look at the announcers, he going to look directly in the camera and shake the announcer's hand personally, like, just like he did. Hey, 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 y'all got it. Hey, hey, this is getting out of hand. Jay Will, you've been the most sane individual tonight on the show, man. Can you can you help us get this back on track, bro? Help us out with the situation. Though. I'm the same one of all the no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm talking about just no, no, no. I ain't talking about overall. I'm talking about just for this episode. You you kind of I've been quiet, this. got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, just because you've been, you ain't been saying so much. You've been lying your ass off, but you ain't said much. <laughs> I'm not about to take this these insults today. <laughs> Where's HR? Where's HR? Nah, man, HR I can't go help you, man. And the only HR we know is H and R Block. Get your taxes done. That's it, bro. <laughs> Promo code four quarters. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> ain't no HR out here. They ain't gonna help you. <laughs> Come on, man. What you think about uh, the Cody and and uh <laughs> the, the Cody and AJ storyline getting recontinued? <laughs> um, I, I think this is a great idea. Um, AJ Styles has been in one some of the best shape he's ever been in. Um Cody is hey man, hey, let's keep let's keep it going with him. He's he's a fighting champion, he's putting on matches on, on TV, on pay-per-views, or excuse me, pay up PLEs. Let's keep it going, man. Yeah, I'm always with it. I'm I'm always good for for a good uh, AJ Styles run at the championship. So I, hey, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I can't believe that Quavo kept his time real short on the Cody segment. I'm kind of kind of wild about that. Oh, but... oh, oh, hold on, I had a couple more seconds. Fuck your story, Cody. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep it moving. Uh, uh, that's about as much as we want to get to. Uh, and of course, like I said, uh, WWE or NXT has Battleground on Sunday. Of course, you'll be watching us on Saturday. So let's talk about it. All right, so they got to crown a new North American Women's Championship, inaugural North American Women's Champion. And before all that gets done, hey, we can't forget Ba -da -da -ba -da -ba 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 get it sexy get it sexy she gonna be in the building <laughs> hey Quavo why you make that face like that <laughs> cause I think the possibility of a twerk off between Lola Vice and Sexy Red is hey, actually I'm possible because of Booker T thank you Booker T thank you this is what you've done to NXT. Thank you. I know you bugging right now. I know you bugging right now. Hey, hey, Booker got to calm down, man. He know he married. He better chill out, bro. <laughs> hey, he better chill out. Ducky, ducky, quack, quack. <laughs> Hey, right, but go ahead, Mel. Kick us off, man. We got the uh, the six uh, women ladder match to crown the inaugural uh, North American Women's Champion. You got Last Legend, Nisha, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. after her great two minutes on SmackDown. You got Soul Ruka, mm -hmm. Fallon Henley, mm -hmm. Jada Parker, mm -hmm. Kalani Jordan. Mm -hmm. All right, don't you don't have to make your prediction now, but, but who you feeling though? 
<laughs> how you think this gonna go? Either Jada Parker or Lash Legends. And matter of fact, congratulations to all those black women that is in that match. I know at least five, six of y'all are black in there. So show Michaels good eye, good eye for talent. I appreciate you. They got some. They got some hitters in this match, man. Yes, they do. But I need Lash Legend to win that. Mm. Lash Legend wins the belt. You know, Trick still got his belt. Lash and Trick walking around with some champions. That'd be dope. Oh, the, the little power couple. Oh, ain't that be cute? <laughs> Jay will talk to us, man. How you feeling about this six pack ladder match to crown your inaugural women's North American champion? Jada Parker. Yes. Miss Parker, Miss Parker. Miss Parker, Miss Parker. Yes. Take that bass out your voice when you say that, Jay. <laughs> Hey, hey, y'all gonna get Jay Will with the with all chill out. Hey, Jay Will. Hey, Jay Will. Hey, hey say it softer this time. All right. Miss Parker, Miss Parker. <laughs> now nah, you got too much space. Time. Too much space, dog. Too much space. You gotta do it softer, bro. Hey, you, you gonna get yourself in trouble, man. You better chill out, man. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> hey, Quavo, jump in here, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I actually was going to agree with Jay Will, but now that he's bet on it, can't trust that bet. Mm. Not this week. Um, so I'm going to go with a wild card on this one, and I'm going to say it's going to end up being Sol Ruka. How did I know you were going to see Sol Ruka? going to be Sol Ruka. Hey, she do got the coldest finisher out of all the ladies. It's pretty nice. It's pretty that's nice. Old, that's Sol Snatcher. I, I, you know, I am my f- fandom. Well, you know, Wants to pull for Kalani Jordan, but I don't think it's time yet. Not yet. Not I yet. You. I feel you. I am a fan of Kalani Jordan, though. Uh, I love what she's doing. But I, hey, can we give a? I know, I know, Jay will touched on it, but we got to give a huge shout out to Jada Park. I think she's been killing it the moment she's got on on scene, bro. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Meechin because you'd be loving characters like Natalia. So I thought you were about to be like, "Hey, let's nah, give a, give a, I don't do that. Give, a, don't give a thumbs up to Meechin nah, being in this match. No, nah, bro, don't do me like that. Don't, no, sir, don't do me like that. No, sir. Bet you won't pick her in my GM. <laughs> uh, of course, uh, as you said, uh, Lola Vice's name earlier. She has the NXT Underground match with Shayna Baszler. I'm not going to waste any time on that. I don't care about it. Do you guys care about it? No, we don't. All right, no. let's keep it moving. Uh, <laughs> we got the uh, NXT Tag Team Championship belts on the line. Lou Gallows, Carl Anderson, the OC, taking on the Supersonic Duo Axiom and Nathan Frazier. Uh, just jump on that uh, that match real quick. Uh, Quavo, coming right back to you. How are you feeling about that tag match? I think I was the one who who called it Axiom and Frazier being one of those tag teams they put belt on, uh, even though I know the dirty what was it, the dirty dogs or what was the wolf dogs yeah, the wolf that dogs. won and they were like a champion for like two weeks and then they broke them up. Well, this is who your original winners were supposed to be, mm. uh, but now they are champions and I think they're probably gonna hold these belts another week. You think they're gonna you know come out with the win? Or where where where? Uh, King Mel, talk on it real quick. How you feeling about this tag match, Rachel? I feel like the OC needs to win this. Ooh. Don't, first of all, ain't nobody checking for the OC. <laughs> Not since like 2016, 2017. Ain't nobody been checking for them. So this win right here could be something major for them in mm-hmm. WWE that they had haven't had in a long time. I got you. I got you. I got you. Jay will finish it off real quick on this tag match right here. I'm agreeing with Mel. The OC going to get that. Mm. I, I have a strong feeling towards the OC getting that. I mean, hey, they've been back for a while. Nothing's really happened with them other than when AJ said, fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> hey, he did push it to the side real quick. <laughs> hey, and I didn't even know that they added me, Shannon, until she was uh, with the uh, OC. Was like, oh, he don't really talk to us much. <laughs> anyway, now I got you. I feel y'all. I feel y'all. And then of course, uh, we got uh, Mister Oba Femi. He'll be uh, defending his North American Championship in a triple threat match. Wesley Joe Coffey. Can you talk to us, man, real quick? How you feeling about this match? You know what? Wesley, go ahead and go get the belt back. Oh, get it the back? Longest reigning NXT champion of the North America. Go get it back. Ooh. Okay. 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 Jay, well, talk to us, man. 
Obafemi keeping that belt in the motherland. Ooh. Obafemi. Ooh. Ooh. Obafemi retaining. Quit playing with my man. Okay. Okay. I dig it. I dig it. Quavo, talk to us, man. WWE, please, please let Elba Femi keep his belt. I know Jay Will just betted on him, but please let him keep his belt. <laughs> please, because I want him to keep his belt. Hey, Quavo, how much please. is how much is this hurting you that you got to agree with Jay Will? How much is this hurting you right now? Uh, as much as it hurts to look at half of a Cody road shirt. <laughs> so, so hard to look at. I can't with you, man. Did that's you keep gone. that shirt that you so-called ripped? Oh, that's <laughs> gone. That's gone. Yeah, yeah, that, that's being that's being in in a waste. Uh, those are real uh, uh, boogers being blown into that shirt, Cody. <laughs> Fuck your story, Cody. I said real boogers, yo. What's wrong with y'all tonight, yo? Oh my god, producers gonna have fun with producing this one tonight. <laughs> and then last and certainly not least, uh, Roxanne Perez, NXT Women's Champion, she'll be taking on Jordan Grace, the TNA Knockouts Champion, but. This is for the NXT Women's Championship, obviously, because it's NXT Battleground. Coming right back to you, Cravo, man. How you feeling on it real quick? I feel like this could be the continuation of all the TNA people that Triple H wants to bring over and just, you know, slowly bringing them over. You got Naomi. She already here. You got Chelsea Green. She already here. Yeah. You got Jordan Grace. And she's a champion. Now she's here. So I feel like Roxy P, they've taken things from you before. But I also think this could be the moment where they're going to send you to the main roster and have Jordan go in there and build her up as a character, you know, on NXT and slowly transition her into the WWE light. Um, you know, we've already, we've already seen her before, you know, on screen. And you know, in in P, under PLE at that, so I think now if we get her in the NXT zone, I think it's going to be a great thing. A lot of people have gone in to to NXT from TNA, and it it, it does wonders for their career. We would not have a yeah without that. So I think this is that good start for her, maybe you know. And then Roxy P going to the main roster is going to be great. And honestly, I don't, I don't think she needs the belt right now. Mm. I don't think she needs it. Okay. Okay. Interesting take. Go ahead, King Mel. Talk to us, man. I agree with everything Quavo said, but Roxy P needs this one. To establish dominance in NXT, she definitely, like, she needs this one. Mm. Just to show, like, yeah, this is my show. NXT is my show. I'm the top woman here. I don't care if you're from another company. I'm still going to be the champion here. And I don't care if I don't know anything about you and they try to make you like a surprise. This is still my show and I do whatever it takes to win. Okay. Okay. I dig it. Jay Will, what you feeling about it, man? I'm honestly feeling like Roxy P is going to be the one to take it away. As much as I like Jordan Grace, it, I feel like it definitely needs to be Roxy P. We can build something long term. Honestly, we who knows what we can work out. What well, excuse me, what the company is going to work out together. Look, but I look, I want to see Roxy P win. Okay, okay. I right. still won't buy her shirt though. <laughs> I'm gonna buy your shirt. Bet you won't buy her shirt. Bet you won't buy her shirt. Roman shirt. I only bought the Tribal it. Chief shirt. Let's be it? real. Is it? Does it only tribal chief shirt? Only the tribal chief. I know. I can't wait for him to come. Now back. put that. Now nah, put that Cody Rose shirt down. <laughs> tribal chief. I'm still tribal chief. Win or lose. Hey, man. I I can't wait for him to come back. I can't. Well, I I'm not hating on what the new bloodline is doing. I'm not. I think it's still good stuff. Uh, Paul Heyman still doing his thing, and you know Solo is, you know he uh, looking like the weekday uh, dressing. I don't know dressing what you the Solo on his um show night. <laughs> boy out there looking like Shug with the OJ gloves, man. Got the OJ gloves, bro. Yeah, when Paul Hammond said it was thugs, I had to look. I was like, you know what? <laughs> These dudes do look like they were WWE death row, man. Hey, yo, too. <laughs> you know, I'm serious. 
Hey, beating I, on Kevin Owens, beating yeah. on the Street Profits. Yeah. Who's next? Hey, it's, it, boy, they they beat up a whole lot of people. I, I'm gonna sneak this uh, last topic in here real quick before we get off here. Um, and we we're not gonna spend a lot of time on it. I want y'all to just give me a straight forward answer. Um. I've I've been kind of seeing what Karrion Cross has been saying to the new day. I think I'm I've been feeling what he's been saying. Um, so I'm gonna ask y'all just straight up and, and I want y'all to give me a straight answer. Don't make it elaborate. Is it time to end the new day? I'm just gonna keep it straightforward like that. Is it time to end the new day? Coming right back to you, King Mel. Yes. Okay, that's all I needed. J. Will. Yes. Okay. Quavo. No. Bootios for life, bitches. All Bootios right. Bootios for life. All right. So I want everybody to keep in mind what everybody said next week. We're going to elaborate when we got more time because I, I just want y'all to, I'm going to plant that seed and we're going to get back to that next week because I, I, I got my own thoughts and opinions and I definitely want to get yours. So we're going to put that, put a pin in that one and make sure y'all tune in next week so we can get more elaborate answers to that. Matter of fact, it's going, it's going to be sizzling. All right. All right. So we're going to park the bus on this episode. Make sure y'all tune in to Battleground NXT. Catch that dope PLE from them folks over there in WWE. But make sure you peep us out on Saturday in the four corners of wrestling. Throw them fours up. Throw them cars down. You got D Man Cave Sports Podcast. Drop it on Saturday as well. And on Sunday, you got five, five top moments in wrestling for the week from my man King Mel. And then, of course, on Monday, you'll see our beautiful faces again because the 4C boys will be doing they booking on WWE 2K24 with the one and only the greatest host next to me, Hollywood Mike T. So you got Sunday, Monday, and you got Saturday. Three straight days in a row of just straight banger after banger after banger of content brought to you by 613 Fade Productions. So go on over to the YouTube page, like, share, subscribe. And, of course, you get the audio needs wherever you get your podcast needs for, on that one. Well, let's drop them socials, fellas. Quaybo, drop the socials for the people. Uh, my social is damn it. I wish we had a brutal reel at um, what's it called? At damn it, J. Will. We're always recording. What the hell? And um, <laughs> yeah, Jose Playboy eight on all platforms. Hey, J. Will, drop the socials, man. You can find me on Facebook as J. Will with one L. And you can find me on X slash Twitter. As 4CB underscore J Will with one L and in third place. Oh my gosh, this guy. <laughs> King Mail, come on, man. Drop the socials, man. <laughs> yeah. So this one is a combined account between me and Cody Rhodes. It is at, at Quabo, F Quabo. You know what I mean? At Quabo, F Quabo. It's just catching on. It's very trendy. There's also King Mel 13 on IG. And you got your boy King Mel in, in the four corners. Group, you got King Mel in the man cave group on Facebook, Jamal Scroggins. Oh, uh, y'all wild in the night. Hey man. Hey, just going over my Twitter page, Casey Wildcard Mar, all W Sports Network. And like I said, 613 Fake Production. Well, we got all that dope content on Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So, before we get about it, we always got to give you all the weekly reminder. Do not try this at home. Leave it to professionals. Hey, the podcast made from wrestling fans, for wrestling fans, for corner boys. We'll see y'all next week. Throw them foes up. Throw them quads down. We holler at y'all. Peace.